If I were to ask you to tell me your favorite title for God that the Bible gives us. The Bible gives us many different titles for God, many different names for God. They all mean something and they all mean something significant. I bet you would not pick the title that the psalmist uses in Psalm 4 verse 1. Where he says, Answer me quickly, O my righteous God. Righteous God. Righteous. It's not a bad title. I just don't ever hear anyone say that that's, that's their favorite one. You know, they like, um, they like Lord, they like Heavenly Father, uh, Good Shepherd, lots of, lots of good ones. But, but the psalmist calls him a righteous God, and so there's, there's something good there. Righteous, you know, righteous can mean perfect or holy. It can mean that God always does what's right, and, and that's good too, but the way that that particular word is used in the Old Testament and in the Psalms sometimes, it, it basically just means that God does what he says. God does what he says he will do. And we get to walk through life as if we expect God to do everything that he says he will do. There's one time in the Bible that we see someone doing that and it, and it I don't know what the right word is, that, uh, how I react to it. I, so Jacob wrestling with God. So Jacob has a lot on his mind, and the Bible tells us like, that he wrestled, wrestled with God. And that it was time for the wrestling match to be done. <laughs> God, it seemed to indicate that to Jacob while he was wrestling with him. And Jacob said, I refuse to let go of you until you bless me. That gets me, that strikes me every time because it comes across as a little bit arrogant. Like, like, uh uh, God, I'm going to tell you what to do. That's how it comes across, but. Jacob was actually telling God, God, I'm going to expect you to do what you say, what you said you would do. God had promised to bless him. And Jacob was holding him to his word. And God gives us the right to do that. And sometimes it's a bit of a wrestling match as we hold God to his word. I don't know what, what particular promise Jacob was holding on to at that moment, but, but he refused to believe that God would forget it. And so as you think about talking with God, the moments in your life when you wrestle with God, Think of something that God has said he will do. There's so many different promises. Which one to pick? One of the blessings about the Bible is that there are so many of them and you won't run out of them anytime soon. But maybe for tonight, with your past behind you and your future as unknown as it always is right in front of you. Maybe just remember the one that Jesus gave his disciples after our sins were forgiven, after he proved himself to be more powerful than death and Satan. As he was about to disappear from the eyes of the disciples, they wouldn't be able to see him, not with their eyes. Jesus said something to them. He said, I'm with you. I, the one more powerful than death, sin, and Satan, I, the one whose love for you you see on the cross and in the pool of blood underneath it, I, am with you to the very end. That you're a righteous God. He does what he says. So rest well tonight, my friends.